Tala Falava. I'm Karen Teo, and uh, very happy to be here with the Bahian Air Crew in Samoa. It's great to have uh, your visit and the opportunity to tell you more about our life here and the House of Worship here in Samoa. Both Karen and I are managers of the House of Worship. We've been doing it for three years now. We absolutely love it. We enjoy living here. We enjoy working with the local people. Yeah, we have a staff of 11, which we um, manage. Yeah, they work five days a week. And um, Karen does most of the uh, administration. I do, all the, I do all the wages and the accounting and things like that. The key purpose of the House of Worship is for people to be able to come and visit it and enjoy it. And so the Baha'i Houses of Worship are really like gifts to the world. So places where people can come to pray, meditate, reflect, think, and walk in the gardens. In fact, interestingly, quite a few of the tourists who come from New Zealand say that they've heard of the Baha'i faith through watching this very Baha program, Baha'i On Air. For the last couple of years, Benny and I have been serving on the National Spiritual Assembly of the Baha'is of Samoa. This is the annually elected administrative body that takes care of the affairs of the Baha'i community of Samoa. In the Baha'i faith, we don't have any clergy and we don't have leaders with any authority, um, not as individuals. And so the National Spiritual Assembly in every country of the world is the elected body. So it's basically nine people who are elected every year who serve in a spirit of service uh, their community. Every Sunday at 10 o'clock, there's a devotional service at the House of Worship. We have beautiful services where the writings of the different religions are read. Our services are just from the friends themselves, taking turns at reading the writings from the different holy books of the world, um, punctuated by exquisite singing from choirs. We often have youth uh, come and serve here. They may come and spend a weekend or a week or two coming and helping out. Sometimes a children's class or a junior youth group will come and um, rake the grass after it's been mowed. It's just wonderful when we have our local Baha'is here coming and volunteering their, their time and energy and, and serving the house of worship. We've made it a priority to go to Baha'i Summer School which happens every year in December. It's a wonderful gathering where the friends come from all over New Zealand. They often camp together, stay together, they study, they have fun, they laugh a lot, dance a lot, sing and play music a lot. There's huge diversity, people of so many different races and ages, all living and being together with a beautiful spirit. It's great to be here uh, because there are so many things that we achieve. In addition to getting to go to the summer school, we also see children, our children and our grandchildren. So we have two beautiful sons. They're aged 27 and 24. They, they're both Baha'is. And it's important in the Baha'i faith, although we raise our children with Baha'i teachings, but it's very important that they choose for themselves whether or not to be Baha'is. And, and they both made the choice when they were sort of 16 years old. Yeah. And so one of them is married with um, children, so we have two beautiful grandchildren. Actually, the third one is about due in a couple of weeks' time. It's wonderful for us to see our children having um, been able to find their way of serving humanity and serving the Baha'i community. Here in Samoa, just as in New Zealand and Baha'i communities all around the world, the Baha'i Friends are very much involved in taking children's classes, junior youth groups, holding devotional meetings, visiting each other and studying the Word of God and learning how to apply it to our lives. The Junior Youth Empowerment Program is a particularly important one and you've probably had other programs on Baha'i On Air about it. It's an international program that really works on developing the skills, the knowledge and the spiritual qualities and character of children in that critical age 11 to 14 um, age group. In our community here of Te Papata, we have amazing junior youth groups and children's classes being run by Baha'i young people. It's wonderful to feel that there really is something that the individual can do, no matter what their age, to build communities and improve society. For the betterment of the of the, of the world. Eh? Yeah.
the Universal House of Justice being international and looking at the needs of the society and the whole world comes up with plans and gives guidance and direction to the Baha'i communities all over the world, um, working with children and young people and so on. No matter whether you're in a small village in Savai or uh, the huge Auckland city or a village in the bush in Papua New Guinea or a city in Japan, you'll find these same activities being offered by the Baha'is with a spirit of service to human humanity um, and, and trying to um, create better society and better communities from their neighbourhoods up, grassroots up.